Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels into the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Durango, Colorado, then you were in luck. Today we're going to see and explore what makes Durango a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Durango has just under 20,000 people and is located in southwestern Colorado, right about here on a map. Durango's a small city in southwestern Colorado, very close to the New Mexico border. It's located in the San Juan Mountains and because of this has unlimited outdoor activities and recreation. Everything from ghost towns to scenic byways are within arm's reach. Downtown is full of historic hotels and hosts a number of festivals and events throughout the year. It's got a lot of attractions and destinations for being such a small city. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that makes Durango a great place. Number 10, Mesa Verde National Park. This national park is one of the most impressive Native American sites in the United States. It's not exactly in Durango, but it's less than an hour drive and worth the time to go check out. What you'll find at the Mesa Verde National Park is what remains of a Native American settlement that was formed almost a thousand years ago. There are cliff dwellings that are very elaborate that were built under huge overhanging rocks. They include multi-level complexes and have ladders connecting floors and rooms. A tour will take you right up to these dwellings and your tour guide will fill you in on the history of the area. The park itself has many lookouts where you can view them at a glance and take in the whole landscape of the park. This park is one of the best places to go see how the Native Americans lived long ago. Number 9. Fish Hatchery and Wildlife Museum Durango and fishing kind of go hand in hand. It's a huge draw to the area as there is exceptional fishing due to the rivers and lakes in the region. People vacation here for the fishing alone. The Fish Hatchery and Wildlife Museum is a fun stop for the entire family that'll give you a behind the scenes look of how over 1 million fish are raised to be released into the Colorado waterways. The Wildlife Museum is next door and has exhibits that showcase the animals of southwestern Colorado. Visiting here is a great way to see the animals of the region in a different way. Number 8. San Juan Scenic Byway and the Million Dollar Highway Durango is full of beautiful sights wherever you look. Driving the San Juan Scenic Byway and the Million Dollar Highway might be one of the most beautiful drives you have ever taken. In total, it's a 233 mile roadway that loops around southwest Colorado. If you drive the whole highway, you will drive through Silverton, Ure, Ridgeway, Placerville, and Telluride. But you can drive as little or as much as you'd like and wind up back in Durango. The drive ascends into the mountains and over three mountain passes including the Red Mountain which is over 11,000 feet. This means the views are out of this world. Along the way you'll see remains of old mines and abandoned industrial equipment. This drive is great and probably best used during the months where you don't have to worry about snow. Number 7. Colorado Trail there's no shortage of parks, trails, or rivers in the region, and we'll talk about a few of them on this list. The Colorado Trail is one of the most used and highly regarded places to go in Durango. The trail runs for just about 500 miles through the Rocky Mountains from Denver to Durango, and it's open to non-motorized vehicles. People use it primarily for running, hiking, and mountain biking. It's hard to find anything better that offers a scenic pathway that is both challenging and rewarding. 
The landscape changes often and can be flat and level to climbing mountains and more challenging terrain. Along the way, there are lookouts to see the mountains and valleys. Again, it's up to you how far you'd like to go and you can go at your own pace. Number six, D and S and G Railroad Museum. If you're interested in railroads, and more specifically the ones of the southwestern Colorado region, make it a point to stop in here. Not only will you be able to see antique rail cars, there's also solar powered cars and a nice mix of other items on display. Everything from antique farm equipment, covered wagons, a model train, mounted animals, and other artifacts from the area. The museum itself is located inside the train station and is free to enter and look around. People of all ages love visiting here to see the trains and displays and it's a nice way to spend a few hours. Number 5. Purgatory Ski Resort If you're planning a ski trip or live in the area and are looking for a great place to ski or snowboard, Purgatory Ski Resort is it. Only a short drive from Durango, you'll find over 1,600 skiable acres waiting for you for all kinds of winter activities. The resort itself has all the amenities you'd expect when it comes to lodging, but the real draw is the mountain. There are 12 lifts that allow visitors to access 101 trails and 7 terrain parks. Plenty of places for those who are brand new to the mountain or those who are very experienced. They average 260 inches of snow per season, and this is a very family-friendly destination. Not to mention the views you'll get while you're there enjoying yourself. Number four, San Juan National Forest. The San Juan National Forest is 1.8 million square miles and is full of year-round things to do. Visitors enjoy the Ponderosa Pines, snow-capped mountains, and rivers for a number of activities. You will find the hiking and biking challenging as you encounter many different types of terrain. You can also use the river for rafting as well. Those who want to experience the forest to its fullest can choose to do primitive camping there and experience the wilderness overnight. Whether you're looking to do a little exercising, reflecting, or want to test yourself on the river or the trails, the San Juan National Forest is an amazing spot in the city that has a lot of options and is too close to miss. Number 3. Animus River Trail If you've ever wanted to go rafting, this is the place to do it. The upper part of the Animus River has class 1 to 5 rapids, while the lower part of the river has smaller and easier rapids. Meaning, no matter what your skill level, there's a lot of fun to be had. There are companies that will take you on the river and offer different size rafts to accommodate your group no matter how big or small. On the lower part of the river, the city of Durango created a special water park within the river with viewing platforms and is a nice option for those who just want to take things slow. The Animus River Trail is a paved trail that runs alongside for 7 miles. It's a popular spot for biking, walking, and running. A lot of people in the area use the river for recreation and it's a beautiful spot in the city. Number 2. Historic Downtown Downtown Durango is very historic and has that Old West feel to it throughout. Its main street looks like something straight out of a movie and has a lot of character and charm. It's lined with great places to eat, museums, art galleries and boutiques. There are plenty of places to get a drink at saloons or a pub. It's one of those towns you can walk through the downtown area and go store to store seeing what they have to offer without worrying about getting robbed or being the victim of a crime. Downtown Durango is actually listed on the National Register of Historic Places and that should tell you a lot about the type of town this is. It really exemplifies what a western city was back then and how it was carried through to today. Number 1. Silverton and Durango Narrow Gauge Railroad If you want to experience Durango in Colorado in its best form and see it in a way you've never seen it before, you have to do it by train. With old restored carriages pulled by authentic coal-fired steam engines, 
you'll take a trip from Durango to the old mining town of Silverton. The 45 mile journey will take you through the mountains of Colorado and high above the Animas River, letting you see the region unlike any other way you can. It's a whole day event and takes nine hours to complete, giving you a few hours to explore Silverton before heading back to Durango. The town of Silverton itself is very historic as well and has a lot to offer. The experience of the train ride and the things you'll see on your way to and from Durango will be worth the price of admission and your time. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything or mispronounced anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Durango, Colorado. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.